So we are out here in the woods now. Kind of went away from the main part of the plantation house, which is way up there. And I wanted to come check out this area. There's an abandoned house back here, which isn't quite as old. But uh, I wanted to come back here and check out all this washed out area, and all of these exposed roots. So I'm gonna eyeball in here a little bit and just notice just by walking through here, there's bits of china and pottery. See some right down here. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. That's while I got this camera on here and rolling. Let's take a look at this. Oh, amazing. Tons of old trash out here. Oh wow. Those bottles. Oh look, they're everywhere. Pepsi, just sitting on the surface. Those ones weren't super old. Oh, this is awesome. Check that out. No, oh, that is cool. Gotta be careful through here. These boards are not all sound. Oh my goodness. Isn't that wild? under here. Wow. That is cool. Let's go around the side. Mason jar. Whoa. Looks like where the chimney collapsed here. Roof. It's all, yeah. The roof is all here. This would be tricky to metal detect around, but I'm going to try on the back end where the trash starts to thin out by the bottles. See if I can isolate any patches or I can find any relics from this place. I should probably be out in the pasture and some of the main areas around the house looking for the 1700 stuff, but I'm quite intrigued by this quite intrigued.
double cola, Pepsi, another double cola. I might take one of those. I don't have any of these ones. Coke. Just all over here. What is this? Oh, it's a button. Check that out. Oh, wow. That's probably mid-1900s there. Not super old, but right on the surface. Gigantic button. What is this? Huh. All kinds of crazy stuff under here. the detector out won't be able to swing it around here there's too much junk but I'm gonna work on this back area here a little bit and see what turns up well the amount of trash in through here is unbearable as you can imagine I've been trying to listen for better signals I've been pulling out these old aluminum tins and iron and all sorts of big targets I'm starting to look under this outbuilding here where the piano is and you can just see bits of uh, broken bottles and stuff, and I eyeballed something right here. Little buckle, the leather still attached to it. What else do we got under there? It's pretty narrow on this side. Let's check out under this end. That's where the piano is right there. So much broken glass. This is too narrow to crawl in under here, but I can go in under the other section again, under the main house. Just seeing if I can eyeball anything super interesting. Look at all this glass. Well. Anyhow, I'll keep looking and keep you posted. All right, so I am making a perimeter around the house here, trying to work my way out around the big trash and find where it thins out so I can cherry pick targets a little bit better. And um, I've been getting a lot of the older style pull tabs in through here, just trying to find smaller signals right now. There's a ton of those aluminum cups and all sorts of stuff. Got a solid signal right down here, and I just popped the coin. Not sure if you can see it. I did see the date on it. It's a 1961 penny, but uh, it's neat to at least find a coin back here. So there's not a lot of brush in this front section. It kind of goes out to the field here. So I'm going to work this area right in here, and I'm going to try to see if I can pick out some uh, other old coins or potentially silver from hopefully the early to mid-1900s. I'm going to try to do that now and uh, see if I get any other solid targets that are a little bit smaller in nature that could be jewelry or things like that. So, uh, man, it's been tough trying to work a perimeter around this and find where the trash thins out and then just find the concise targets, but this has been my best bet back and through here so far. And I think it's because it sits higher up right here. As you get down to the house, it kind of goes down a little bit so all of the trash pulls in all of in that area mostly and in the back is all large trash so i'm going to coin shoot this area here and see what we can pull out Alrighty, i'm getting hammered with ice pellets right now it is really coming down <laughs> oh man that's going down the back of my neck i gotta get my hood on hold on a second oh that's cold all right i'm good Anyway, I isolated a coin signal 
down and under here, right in front in this area. I'm coin shooting. I'm skipping all the pull tab signals and trying to isolate the coin targets. And this is another penny of some kind, probably from the 60s again. I'll clean it up later. Whew! Crazy day out here from a snowstorm to rain to nothing to ice pellets. Alrighty, awesome find right here. Still bushwhacking. I found those two coins kind of around in that area. Trying to work through all the brush and all those aluminum cups and the pull tabs and all the garbage back here. Ooh, stand off there. Don't break it. I got an awesome find here pretty deep. Check out this brass buckle. That's an old one. That is a nice piece of brass right there. It's still got the tongue on it. I don't know if that's quite 1800s or not. I'll have to clean it up later. That's a sweet home site relic right there. Kind of still working this top area, coming over here, avoiding where all the tin roofing and the big targets are. And I'm able to pull out some of these non-ferrous signals. I just love detecting locations like this. If I owned a property like this, I'd spend the whole year back out here, clearing all this brush down and clearing it out to get all the goodies out. Another piece saved. So this is the haul from the abandoned house, minus the bottles and the trash. There's a lot of trash from the mid-1900s on that property. But first, let's go ahead and bring you back up to the 21st century. And there you go. Unfortunately, the buckle with the leather still through it. I think I accidentally left that on a rock by the base of that building. I forgot to put it in my pouch when I was done filming. At least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But this little two-hole aluminum button I dug up after the last clip in the video and I didn't show, those are generally uh, mid-1900s as well. So is it possible that the people were living up there until maybe, you know, around the late 1960s? Who knows? But anyway, it was fun to uh, dig this stuff out. And if I lived closer by, I would spend a lot of time out there weeding through all that trash and seeing what other goodies we could recover. But after that, I went back out to around the 1790 house and in the pasture looking for colonial relics. And that video's on the way. So thanks everyone for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.